We be together 24 7, 7 24, 365 days. I practically live in your bars and you acting like you don't know me. <laughs> the video your girl is back in for the story time if you're new to my channel hey girl hey and if you're a returning subscriber i don't have to say anything because you know what's up i know what's up we know what's up and that's on what that's on what that's on period and mary had a little lamb as y'all can see by the the video today i'm gonna be telling y'all about the time my ex embarrassed me and y'all honestly the only other person i told this to was my best friend and my mother because i was just like Ma, like do he got me fucked up or am i tripping like let me know if i'm tripping because if i'm tripping i'll pop down but y'all like no, this nigga really had me messed up. Y'all let me know by the end of this story time if I was over-exaggerating or if he really embarrassed me. So y'all already know in order for any of my story times to make sense, I have to give y'all a little backstory. Y'all, this happened in 2015. I was going off to college and I was going to be storing, staying in the dorms. Y'all know when you go off to college, you need like all your um, essentials like toilet paper, tissue, pads, um... You know, you just need your little college essentials like water, snacks, and stuff like that. So I decided to do a lot of my um school um shopping at Sam's Club. If y'all don't know what Sam's Club is, it's basically like Walmart on crack. It's like if Walmart got a pound of sugar for uh I don't know for five dollars, they gonna have a pound of sugar for they gonna have like five pounds of sugar for ten dollars. Like it's basically Walmart on crack. So I went to um sam's club to get some of my stuff y'all and my ex took me i didn't get my car into like i think i didn't get a car into like my sophomore year of college so my ex took me to sam's club we're gonna go ahead and give him a name we're gonna call him fbp for the first piece of bread y'all know don't nobody like the first piece of bread so that's what we're gonna call him so boom fast forward to saturday y'all we pull up to sam's club i got my little car or whatever not even y'all it was probably like honestly it was like I probably took like 10 steps into Sam's Club and then boom, we seen my ex-boyfriend's ex. We gonna go ahead and give her a name. We gonna call her Miss Potato Head. So boom, we see Miss Potato Head as soon as we walk into the door. So as soon as we see her, I'm like, oh shit. Like me and this ex didn't have no beef. And the reason how I knew that it was his ex is because before we got together, he had already laid everything out on the table for me. He had already pretty much told me who his ex was. And y'all probably thinking like, why like for what and that's because where i'm from ocala is a small city like everybody know everybody i feel like everybody done dated everybody like at this point it's incest because everybody everybody be dating everybody and everybody just know everybody and i'm a friendly type of girl so i don't want to be he he and ha 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 and nobody face and then last summer my nigga was making you he he and ha ha so it's just like no baby i need to know like i don't care if it's an ex from pre-k kindergarten like i need to know because i don't want to be he he and ha ha her face and then in kindergarten y'all used to be touching toes like baby no you just gotta let me know so before we even got together he had already let me know about this person that person that person i i i so i don't look stupid like my thing is is just don't make me look stupid so that's how i had already knew that who miss potato head was and plus we had each other like on i think snapchat was popular during this time we had each other on snapchat and we had each other on facebook so y'all when we walk in there i'm thinking like all right this is x he probably just gonna speak because i'm not gonna lie like if i see one of my exes we don't have beef i'm gonna say hey what's up you know it's an ex i might just say what's up keep it cute and just keep it moving so i'm thinking my boyfriend at the time fb what is it what's his name again the first piece of bread okay fbp i'm thinking he gonna be like hey like you know what's up y'all know how niggas be like sup like sup like or not even say sup like not even say what's up just be like you know the little head nod niggas be doing they be like like the little head now so like he about to be like oh what's up like just a little head now like just keeping it cute keeping it simple but now y'all we get in sam's club and he see miss potato head and he's like hey miss potato head and i'm like no he didn't no he didn't just go out his way to speak to her so i'm like wait a minute let me say it in his voice he didn't say it like that y'all but he basically because he my ex he's a hood nigga so he basically was like hey miss potato head and i'm just looking like am am i casper like am i a ghost do you not see me standing here so y'all me and my car we keep it moving so him and miss potato head they start having a whole conversation and i just keep it moving so y'all i'm pushing i'm pushing i'm pushing my car and y'all know me anytime anything crazy happens to me i always text or I'll call my best friend like i just call her to be like bitch like you cannot believe what just happened so i text my best friend and i'm just like bitch so we in sam's club and the first piece of bread see miss potato head and they start talking like he's like they start talking i'm like yes bitch they having a whole conversation they talking they talking they talking i'm just like 
baby like no so she's like asia yeah he doing too much but just get your stuff and just keep it cool so i'm in the aisle y'all i'm trying to calm myself down because i'm not gonna lie at this point my adrenaline is up my palms are sweaty i'm super duper pissed off i'm mad or whatever and remind you two three minutes go by go by and my ex is still talking to miss potato head so i'm y'all i'm in the aisle or whatever i'm looking for my stuff probably like five minutes pass by and my ex comes back and he's like bae why you left me and I'm like, nigga, why, why, why I left you? Asia, no, no, Asia. Like, are you dumb? Like, are you stupid? So at this point, I start going off on him because I'm just like, like, you do too much. Like, you doing, like, you doing too much. And my ex was the type of, y'all know them niggas that are the type of people, like, they just have to be seen or they just have to say something or they just do too much. So he was that type of person that just did too much. So I'm just like, no, get out of my face. I, 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 I feel disrespected. Like, why you went out your way to speak to her? And he's like, man, you insecure, da-da-da. You insecure, like, I ain't did nothing. I'm just like, no, you, you doing the most. Like, if I see my ex anywhere i'm gonna just keep it cute and just do a little hate and i'm just keep it moving but you out here doing a whole introductory middle paragraph and a, a conclusion like you you just doing the most so we start arguing or whatever we just bicker and we going back and forth so i continue to shop or whatever i'm still getting my stuff um i'm still getting my stuff the whole time while we in sam's club it's kind of just awkward now because like my vibe is off his vibe is off he think i'm tripping and i'm over exaggerating but i'm just thinking like you really like you just got me fucked up so we shopping we shopping we shopping and also my boyfriend he was helping me pay for some of my stuff so i was mad but i was still trying to keep it cool because it's just like i still want you to pay for this stuff so we in there we in there we shopping we shopping we shopping and i don't know if it was like if we probably was like 15 minutes in to shopping at sam's club and i'm like hey could you go to our aisle to go get me some tissue and the way the sam's club in ocala is set up is it's like on this side it's like all the food and on the other side it's like the feminine wash and then clothes and it's like basically the sam's club is super duper big y'all so i sent him to the other side of the store to go get me some tissue so that happens or whatever he goes over there to get me some tissue i'm still shopping i'm still shopping about four or five minutes go by and i'm thinking like damn like i know that sam clubs is big but like it's not that big like what's taking him so long and y'all also let's go ahead and backtrack a little bit i forgot to tell y'all miss potato hair worked at sam's club before we got to sam's club i didn't know if she worked at sam's club and i don't remember if he knew that she worked at sam's club so y'all 15 minutes go by at this point and i'm like dang like he still ain't back with the tissue so i call him and i'm like i'm trying to ask him like hey like did you find a tissue like what's going on but y'all the phone goes straight to the voicemail no answer so i start heading towards the, like the feminine products in the toiletry aisle and before i get there y'all i see mr potato head and the first piece of bread well i don't want to confuse y'all so i see my ex at his ex which is mr potato head register so y'all at this point i'm not gonna lie i flip like soon as i seen this y'all me and my little wheels me and my cart we start doing y'all we, we we basically rolling we start rolling so I start rolling towards him or whatever, and he peeps and sees that I'm coming towards him. So he starts coming towards me. Like, he's trying to get to me before I get to them. So her register is right here because she's at work. Her register is right here. I'm way back here, and then he's, like, trying to meet me before I get there. So we end up meeting in the middle. Like, I'm rolling coming towards them, and he's coming towards me. So, bam, we meet up or whatever, and I don't remember exactly what I said, y'all, but basically I just cussed him out. I'm just like... You just embarrassed me. I just told you you was doing the most by speaking to her like you was just doing the most. And then now, you at her register having a whole conversation. So I'm going off on him, y'all. I'm not going to incriminate myself, but I was doing a little more than going off on him. All I'm going to say is my hands was moving a lot. That's all I'm going to say. So he's like, yeah, she basically was like, your vibe was off. Like, what was up with you? So I'm like, so you, she basically called you over there to talk about me. Like, what? Like, nigga, you lying. You, you lying. So I'm telling him he a lie and I'm going off of him. And at this point, I'm mad because it's like... You're not embarrassed. This is really embarrassing. It's one thing you embarrassing me, but now you playing in my face. Like, now you disrespecting me. So if y'all don't know, I'm a Taurus. Y'all know Taurus are very, very stubborn and we very, very petty. So I came up with this little plan in my head. I was like, you know what? Since you want to be at her register talking about me, you know what? When I'm done getting all my stuff... 
I'm, I'm going to have her ring me up and let's see if she got anything to say. Like, I'm going to have homegirl ring me up. And he's like, no, you're doing the most, da, da, da. Like, you just insecure. You crazy. You're doing the most. I'm like, no. You said that she called you over there to see if I was good because she felt like it was some animosity going on between me and her. Now that I got all my things, I'm getting ready to head towards the front. So I call um, FB and I'm like, hey, uh, I'm getting ready to check out. Could you come to the front? But, y'all, before I get to the front, I noticed that Miss Potato Head is no longer at her register before they had her like how many registers do they have at sims club i think they have probably like five or six registers and they like lined up like this and then they have like a food cafe and they have like a register and a food cafe i don't know if she moved herself to the um cafe register or if they moved her to the cafe register but basically she was no longer at one of the the cash shop registers she was at the cafe register so i'm like all right i can't be petty betty asia today so let me just go ahead and leave it alone and put my groceries not groceries y'all but my school essentials on the register so i started ringing up my stuff and as i'm ringing up my stuff i'm noticing that um fbp his energy is off like he's real distance like he's treating me like a stranger y'all like he's giving me like a yard or two yards like this is before kobe like we can be like this to each other but he's like giving me mad space so i'm like babe could you help me put these um could you help me put my stuff on the thing y'all know the thing that be moving at the store so i'm like babe could you help me put my stuff on the thing and he ain't say nothing. So I'm like, hold on. Maybe he didn't, maybe, maybe he didn't hear me. So I'm like, babe, could you help me put my stuff on the register? Y'all, so he completely annoys me. Now he acting like he don't know me. And the whole time while all of this is going on, I see Miss, um, what's her name again? Um, what's her name again, y'all? Miss, um, Miss Potato Head. I see Miss Potato Head looking at me. You know how you can see somebody looking at you out your peripheral vision? And her register was kind of in front of my register. So I kind of just felt her looking at me the whole time. So while I'm ringing my stuff up, I'm like, all right, I see what's going on. I'm not going to lie, y'all. My blood was a boiling because it's just like, we together 24-7, 724, 365. Like, nigga, I practically live in your balls. And you want to act like you don't know me? You want to act like you don't know me? Oh, okay, cool. Oh cool so y'all you know i finished ringing up my stuff i pay for my um my school stuff and we go back to the car and y'all when we get in the car it's awkward like the mood is just the vibes are just off like it's basically silent the whole way home so he drops me off home he goes home we don't talk for the rest of the day it's probably like four or five hours later it's nine o'clock at night by this time my best friend sends me a message I opened the message y'all and it's a screenshot from facebook miss potato had made a facebook status about me and y'all, y'all want to know what the message said? The message said, if I want him, I can have him. And it was like four or five hours ago. And you know me, I went ahead, screenshotted the, um, I screenshotted the thing. I sent it to him. And I'm just like, so now you got bitches making statuses about me. Like, now you got bitches talking about me. And he's like, man, that ain't even about you. You insecure. How you assume that was about you? But y'all, like I said, I was... I was crazy back then, so I counted down the hours. The Facebook said it said four or five hours ago, and I calculated five, six. Yeah, I was at Sam's Club at this time. She made the status when I was at Sam's Club. Like, the status is about me. He's like, nah, that ain't even about you. Like, you tripping. I, 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 I. So we started arguing or whatever. My best friend, like, we, she knew what it was about me. I knew it was about me. And that's basically the story time on how my ex embarrassed me. And that's why he an ex now, y'all. Like, like, the story times about him could be endless, but he an ex for a reason. But I just thought that story time was funny. Let y'all, let me know if y'all think I was tripping. Because still to this day, I don't think I was tripping. I think you just, it's just certain boundaries that you have to have when it comes to an ex. Like, I'm just, I don't know, y'all. I just felt like he was doing the most. Let me know if y'all ever been in a situation like this before. Or if you let me know if y'all feel like I was doing the most or if he was doing the most. Or just let me know how y'all feel about it. Um, Again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Peace.